Not yet. Not yet. Why did I do it yet? I'm not doing it yet. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. This is a $4.99 foundation. It is definitely one of my cheapest foundations that I've ever bought, but I'm super excited to try it out. I've seen it all across the internet. People are raving about it. So if you guys are excited to see my first impressions and my thoughts on the $4.99 Wet n Wild foundation, then go ahead and keep watching. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hop right into the face, to the face, to the look, to the face, to the foundation. I don't know. We're gonna hop into it. We're gonna do the foundation. So like I said in the intro, I will be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is the dewy one, Desert Beige, and I can't do the matte because I got dry skin. So we're gonna go in first with primer, and I'm just going to be using the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. Now, the last time I think I used like a actual drugstore foundation, I did like a Dollar Tree haul, but like not a legitimate foundation. I think it was L'Oreal and it was last year, the infallible something. And then I've also tried Radiance Beauty or Radiance something from Sally's and I loved both of those. I just recently got rid of the infallible though because it was kind of breaking me out. So I don't know if it got old or if it just kind of wasn't working for me. The only other like drugstore foundation that I really like and really use is NYX and I think it's like Can't Stop Won't Stop. I do love that one. But this one I got from Walmart for $4.99. So that's exciting. $4.99. I don't know if this is the one but there was one wet and wild foundation that was all over the internet at some point and i was like mm, i don't do cheap foundation like not being savvy i just don't i just my skin is so sensitive so i'm excited to try this but also kind of weary about it so we'll see but the first thing i notice is this it's a spatula i'm gonna just put it on my hand because i don't want to wipe it all over my face and then dip it back in i don't like that at all is there not another way to do that i guess like they save money by not putting a pump it seems pretty like liquidy it's not super runny where it's just falling down my hand but it definitely has movement it smells decent it smells like foundation it's definitely more of a lightweight coverage I can tell that almost instantly from putting it on my face like at this point this would be completely concealed but this is like nice though I like a lightweight coverage as long as it's buildable I don't know if it's scented or if it's what I wash my beauty blenders with, but this smells like really good. This is actually not bad. <laughs> I actually matched my color like pretty well, considering I could not swatch it. I've been excited to try out like new things um, from the drugstore because like I've said many times, um, I don't have a lot of drugstore makeup and I just feel like I need to have that diversity in my channel because not everybody wants to or can afford, you know what I mean, super bougie ass products. So I just want to start getting more into drugstore makeup and seeing what I like, what I don't like, you know, the ins and the outs of it. So if you guys have a drugstore product for me to try, please leave it down below so I can going in with a second little dip and I just dip pull it out I don't have to dip several times but I'm going to be trying the new elf it's not really new anymore but the elf um jelly pop primer because everyone says it's supposed to be like the same as or better than milk makeup hydro grip so we'll see so I definitely feel like I have to go in with a second layer around like specifically my cheeks because I get rosy cheeks I don't know that I have rosacea, but my cheeks definitely get super, super red. This actually looks really, really good. Ooh, I might actually love this foundation for me. Like this may definitely be a whole new vibe. It's definitely a lighter weight coverage because even with two layers, I can still see some of my imperfections, like my discoloration and some of the redness. I don't know if it's picking up on camera but I can definitely see it here in the mirror. However, it's not like cakey and sticking to like all of my fine spots and all of my dryness. So I love that for me. And it does look really dewy. Do I look like I'm glowing? Cause I feel like I'm glowing. Right, so I'm gonna go in with my Revolution Beauty and this is the Conceal and Define. And this is another drugstore item. I didn't buy this one though. This was sent to me. 
but it's not bad. It does kind of remind me of the Tarte Shape Tape, but it's just a little, 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 little bit thinner. I'm just waiting to see if like this foundation oxidizes because what I find with drugstore foundations that I have tried and not liked, they have oxidized where like by the time I'm done putting my makeup on I look really really orange. So I'm doing very light glam obviously around the face because this is a lightweight foundation and I'm kind of glad that I did pick this one because it can be a lighter to more full coverage concealer. So it doesn't look like the color is shifting in any way. So that is my- I love this foundation. Like my- mm, you look good, girl. I'm going in with my setting powder now, and this is just the uh, Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I am loving this foundation. Like, not even with the setting powders. Like, it didn't lift. I'm not getting any patchiness. Please excuse my chin. Oh, but I'm not getting any patchiness, so that's, like, really nice. Because I will tell you a lot of the times I'll use like a, a cheaper foundation, um, even NYX sometimes, that one, once I start putting powders and stuff on my face, it will start to lift a little bit and I absolutely hate that. So I'm really excited that it's not doing that. So we're going to go in with the Wet n Wild bronzer I have. And if you guys missed that, I redid a recent like this versus the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. And I will link that up here for you guys to check out. But you have to check that out. This bronzer is my jam. And again, this is like $4.99. We're here for it. Especially because it looks so good. I will say it is giving me a little texture issue right here now that I'm starting to blend my bronzer. All right, so now I have my bronzer on. I'm going to go with my blush and I am using the Fenty Cream Blush in the shade Summertime Wine. I'm excited to start doing more drugstore stuff for you guys. If that's what you guys want to start seeing too, either like a this versus that or just trying more drugstore products, then definitely let me know down below because I'm kind of having like a lot of fun just kind of like testing things out and just really experimenting on the new things that I like versus like the old things that I like. Because I will not lie to you guys, I actually like this foundation a lot better than I like my La Mer foundation. Everybody swore the La Mer foundation was like the best foundation ever and it was so good for $120. It, it's not. I hate that foundation. And honestly, I'm just keeping it because it's more of like a memory kind of thing for me because it was one of the first ever like super expensive makeup products that I was able to afford. So I definitely just keep it for that um, purpose, but I hate that foundation. And I feel like this gives like similar vibes, but it gives me way more coverage and the luminous of it, luminosity, I don't know. The shininess of it is a lot better. Okay, so I'm gonna go in today, I'm trying to use some makeup that I haven't used in a while. This is the Becca Vanilla Quartz Highlighter, very cute. I got rid of a lot of these in my declutter, but I did keep some of them. Also, we found her. She was with my daughters always like they just take my stuff and I'm just like if you guys could just stop like y'all cannot just be coming up in here just taking stuff like this is my favorite brush and I could not find it for months and I was just like I'm not buying a new one because I know it's in their room so we're gonna go in and we're gonna finish up the under eye before I go any further with my face so by the way I use the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie Frankation palette um, I have not used this palette in so long and I just was like, I want to start using palettes. And I went through all my palettes with you guys. And I can put that video up there for you guys to check it out. But basically, I had a whole pile of palettes that I was just like, okay, I want to try to use these. I want to get into using these again. So that's what I did. And that's what I've been doing. I've just been going through the palettes that I put in that pile. And I'm like, you can't use any new palettes. You can't use them. You have to use these. So... I did, however, get a new palette. I got the Juvia's Place palette. But, but, I've been using my old palettes too. Even seeing my foundation up close, like I am loving this. It is going into my dryness, my eczema area around my mouth, just a little bit. But to be honest, most foundations really do. Because, like I said, it's eczema. It's not just normal dry skin. 
it's not bad like it's definitely like your normal and probably once I put my setting spray on it'll probably look a lot better but it is definitely going in there just a little bit so I will let you guys know that for lips today I am using the retro matte in ruby woo by mac Ooh, oldie but a goodie I'm so excited another thing in my need to use pile all right, so I decided to change my mind. I didn't like the red. It just didn't really vibe with me with the eye look. So I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Color Jolt. I actually got this from the Dollar Tree. And it just has more of like a purpley maroon undertone. So it still gives me that pop, but it matches with my eyes just a little bit more. All right, guys. So I finished my lip off. Um, like I said, I went with more of a berry purple color just to complement the outer parts of my eye. I just felt like that red was just so red. It is one of my favorite, favorite red lipsticks. And I just wanted to start using it more and try to put it into a look. But we might have to sit her out for later because it just didn't, it wasn't wasn't my journey the red lipstick and the maroon eyes so we had to pass but let's get into my final thoughts of the foundation all right guys so as for this foundation i would definitely say it is a must have $4.99 and I'm obviously late on this train because this is not new I don't think in any way it does say new on the bottle but I don't know that it's new maybe the luminous portion or the dewy portion of it is new like that formula but I know that the photo focus has been out for a while but this is definitely a yes 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 you need it in your life it did grab to a little bit of my dry eczema area right here but like I said once I put my setting spray on that completely kind of took it away for the most part it's not patchy it's not cakey it is lightweight to buildable so I feel like if you're looking for a more full coverage this is not gonna be your friend but if you're looking for a lightweight luminous dewy foundation $4.99 get her i am so excited about this foundation i'm so excited that i found this foundation and i'm adding it to my favorites of foundations i love how it felt i love how it smelled which is very strange because usually like foundation just has like a really weird smell but this actually smelled really nice so the only thing that i would definitely say i didn't like is the applicator i'm not a fan of like this spatula situation going on I just don't, I don't like it. Um, I think that it's a lot of bacteria getting up in there. You're dipping it, you're dipping it. I just feel like a pump would have been a better option, but I feel like to keep it at the $4.99 price point, they probably couldn't have the pump. So maybe if they made it like $6.99 and just added the pump is all I'm saying went wild. If you're listening, a pump would be nice. Other than that, I really liked how it applied. I really like how it's like just, ugh. It's so good. It's not sinking into my fine lines. It was very easy to blend and just gave me such a glowy, beautiful look to my skin. So I'm so excited for this. I am going to go ahead and update you guys probably in a week or so. I'm going to try to wear it a couple of times throughout the day and see how it wears. If you guys have bought this foundation, let me know down below what you think of it. Do you like it? Do you not like it? But for $4.99, I had to try it. I'm glad I did. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I do five videos every week and one blooper video every Saturday and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!